Hello there, everybody. My name might possibly be Borch, and hey, we're here with Freedom Planet. Okay, so I have some good news. Actually, I don't have good news. I've just got bad news. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, um, this is post commentary. See, what happened was that I was recording, and I didn't know that my microphone was off. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've got video, but not audio, so. And the only way to like do the episode over again would be to go throughout through the entire game again, I think, if I know my shit right. So not doing that. So we're more or less just going to have to uh, overdub this episode and just have some fun with it, as much fun as we possibly can anyway. So I don't have too much to say, honestly. I don't have too much plan to say, so there, it's very likely that this is going to be very, very meh as far as episodes go. But we're going to try and do a thing. So, one thing I do want to say is that I haven't been enjoying these last couple episodes in this level. Because the emphasis has very much, especially in the level portions, not so much the boss sections, but in the level portions, I haven't really liked, like, what the emphasis has been on as far as, like, maze kind of stuff. Finding the key card, finding your way back to the key card. Just, I don't know how fun, like, I really found these levels to be. I found, I think I found them definitely to be more frustrating than anything else. Especially being in that I kept on making mistakes and I kept on not knowing where to go and, you know. And of course, you know, maybe that was just because I was commentating at the time and, you know, my brain power wasn't at its maximum. So maybe the levels are fine and dandy and somebody who's just playing it on their own won't have any problems. But because I was left playing and because I was using brain power for other things, I was doing horribly on finding shit. The game is still amazing. The game is still uh, wonderful, and I wouldn't change it for the world. But, well, would I change these last couple levels? I think so. If I was a designer on the game, I think I would, uh... There's a couple things that I might change. For sure. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff to talk about like what else to talk about like the, this level is so much just a uh, find the key cards kind of thing hi Mila wow it is okay also we took a short break and like just for a second there I had to remember the character's name <laughs> holy crap it's been that long it's probably been like maybe a week I want to say since the last episode came out and of course even longer since I were actually recorded uh, somebody on Tumblr messaged me and they were like, hey, where's Freedom Planet, man? You know, like, you haven't said anything about it. And part of the reason that there was, in fact, a lull in uh, channel activity was because my sleep schedule swipped, switched over to being nocturnal. So I was awake at night, um, and the thing is that I can't record at night. I have housemates. I have to uh, respect their sleep. So I couldn't record at night. So there was just this big, long, annoying period where I was trying to get back to being diurnal, and I was failing at it. Miserably, because I have a hard time sleeping. I have a really, really, like, if there was any, anything in the world that I wish I was better at, well, I would probably want to be a, better at some other things first. But sleep would definitely be, like, top ten, top five things I would want to be better at. I can't sleep sometimes. Like, I have to take meds, I have to, like... And then I get worried about, like, immunity and overdosing, and it's just... God damn it, man. Horrible, horrible things. My phone just went off. Oh, man. New text, new video from Game Grumps. Game Grumps animated. I gotta turn off those, uh, those notifications. <laughs> YouTube had this, has this thing where, like, they'll send you notifications for, uh, channels that you're subscribed to, but it doesn't make sense to me because they only send, like, the notification, like, randomly, like, incredibly randomly. Like, it, apparently it's supposed to be for, like, all channels that you're subscribed to, but... It just sends me, like, the, the odd video, like, once a week. 
when like I've had hundreds of videos actually show up in my subs. <laughs> Just YouTube being YouTube and being a glitchy piece of shit. This part especially, I had a hard time uh, actually figuring out, and I'm going the wrong way here for some reason. God damn it. Like, I had a really, really, really tough time with this stage. <laughs> Just with the maze-like proportions, like, like knowing where to go. Like, the thing is that I have to go and beat this little uh, mini-boss to get the key card. And I even edited that. <laughs> I was like, oh god, I don't know where to go, let's figure this out. I guess I found a new way to go, and I thought I was okay. But I no, I think this is just a secret area, I want to say. Maybe not. No, 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 no. I think what it is that I got through... The, uh, what I needed to get through, and then I just continued recording. Or I could just die. That's a thing, too. That could totally happen. Jesus, hell. I'm confused watching this. <laughs> I'm wondering where I'm going. That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good sign, Barchy boy. boy. <laughs> Can't get better at this thing. Can't get better at the whole YouTube, uh, Let's Play commentary kind of thing. Got to put more points into that stat line. this part this part this part oh I love this part okay um so as Brevin just said uh, the oxygen has been removed from this area in the game that that is such a cool freaking and you have to find Mila and she gives you oxygen bubbles she gives you like the oxygen shields actually and like I barely even like knew right when I was starting up I was like wait wait where do I go where do I go and we actually die right here Right before we get the freaking oxygen sealed. You can see it there, the blue shield. Oh my god. Like, I didn't like the uh, the first little bit of this stage, for sure, because I was so confused on where to actually go. But this part, with uh, just d being timed and like having to try and find your way as fast as possible, we did save here. Even if we didn't get the shield, we did save there, so we just started up right next to where we get the shield. Which was nice. Very nice indeed, because I probably would have gotten the shield if I'd just known at the time that Mila was going to give me an oxygen uh, shield. And we've got the, uh, the lasers returning here from the uh, the Ninja Club Academy thing. Holy crap, what was it called, gang? <laughs> Being very bad at dodging them, too. Man. <laughs> This is going to be very interesting, because uh, having to watch myself and having to be in the viewer role and being able to tell what's going on. I get to basically do your guys' job for once and comment about how bad I'm playing. <laughs> oh, so good. So great. Hey, me, you didn't. Oh, you already have a shield. Never mind. You're good. <laughs> I'm even bad at comments. Commenting, man, I'm horrible. But yeah, like the uh, the specific level situations that were in this part of the level, like even just there with uh, riding the elevator and having to go back and forth to dodge the spike balls, like these are some pretty cool situations. So I guess like I wasn't remembering this stuff, and I was thinking like it was all bad. No, 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 not even. Like they still definitely have their de level design chops down for this part of the game where everything is still pretty damn fun to play. Sorry if I fall silent every now and then. I, uh, I'm just looking for something to actually, like, talk about as we go along here. It's very easy when you're, uh, commentating, like, the first time around on the blind run 
because you know you're just saying like whatever comes to mind and it's really natural whereas now I have to like I have more uh, thought process to actually you know I just watched that I still don't know how you get through that without actually taking damage or maybe it's a thing where like you have to take damage but no that doesn't make sense because even like yeah this is right before the boss We get to go ahead and uh, see our old nemesis here in a powered up form in a pretty badass fight, fight actually. Not one of my favorites, um, it's very much, uh, it's a little bit too pattern based honestly. Like a bit too formulaic, but it's still a little bit interesting, it's just like I liked the first fight with this guy a little bit better I think. And of course, part of it was that this was really like an endurance boss. It was so hard just trying to not get hit and trying to learn like exactly what to do at what time. And of course, like having to be like, oh, he can turn around like while he's firing that thing, so I can't just stay behind him. Like the best thing to do there is to actually go in between his lasers. Or you can try and go behind him anyway, like, if you're standing, like, right center on him, like, he can't hit you. Because he won't be able to turn around, he won't be able to just fire forward, like, he just won't be able to hit you. And it was very hard to learn the, uh, the timing on these tackles, actually. It was a really scary fight, and of course, like, the music is bumping and amazing. Love this game. 10 out of 10, 5 stars, I would easily, easily, easily recommend this game to anybody who loves platformers. And especially to anybody who, you know, is trying to find a good Sonic game when Sega is too busy uh, publishing really bad Sonic games. Especially with the recent uh, Sonic Boom that everybody freaking hated. Because <laughs> it was rushed out piece of garbage. I really hate that they're doing that. Like... I think that's the thing that is most ruining Sonic games, is that they're like, Oh, the winter season is coming! We have to put this game out now, now, now! Go gold! Go gold! And, like, even... There's this thing called uh, Tales from the Trenches. It's called a... Uh, it's a webcomic about uh, video game testers. And in each comic, they actually publish a story that they get by email from an actual video game tester. And hearing from those guys about just how much it's like they would send in bug reports and but then the publisher would be like nope going gold don't care even for sometimes game breaking bugs so it's just this very interesting th thing to where you have to think about like the business part of it but even then it's like if you publish like a crappy game at the right time are you really going to get the best of your investment? Are you really going to get the highest numbers instead of just waiting a little bit and publishing the game when it's ready? Just this little interesting paradigm that I've always thought about. Like, I do wonder, like, once Sonic Boom has all of the figures come in, if it will have actually, like, made a profit, if it actually did go into the green. And I was really pissed off that Sonic Boom, like, did as bad as it did, because I really liked the lead-up to Sonic Boom. I loved seeing the initial character silhouettes that they teased about the new character designs. I loved seeing how they redesigned the characters so they weren't all like the same silhouette. There's this amazing comic that uh, fanboys made, this amazing Jife, I think, to where they just showed like how you could put like Sonic, Amy, Tails in like the same silhouette. And they would more or less have, like, the same details. So in the boss fight here, we just barely got to the second part of the boss fight. Where he, uh, he speeds up, actually. And my strategy became, for that point, like, just go balls to the wall, try and beat him as fast as possible when he gets up to that speed up stage. Because, God, if we're not having a hard enough problem on just his normal form... Speaking of bad games, I want to talk a little bit here about uh, the series that I've been kind of thinking about. 
I don't know how I would ever, like, have the courage to actually do this, but it was an interesting little thought. Why are bad games bad? And it would explore uh, exactly what went wrong with a game. It would he rely heavily about getting into contact with a developer, with somebody in on why that game was bad, and it would depend on, like, trying to find out, you know, from them, like, what went wrong. Was it a really bad manager? Was it really bad creative decisions? Or was it just, like, the publisher, like, rushing you out the door before everything was done? And I think that would be a really interesting series to watch, but actually doing it is another thing entirely. So we just beat our boss here. Pretty cool stuff. It's always funny how, uh... The final battles are always in space. And we don't get a cutscene yet, we're still in the, the rounds, as it were. So that'll be it for this video, pretty much, guys. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next video.